Hello and welcome to another question. This question reads, you receive a prescription for 60 grams of a 2% weight by weight Voltaren gel. How many grams each of a 5% weight by weight Voltaren gel and gel base must be used to fill this prescription? So notice that in the question, you are actually compounding a 2% weight by weight gel and they are using two components. You're combining a 5% Voltaren gel and then gel base. So it's important to understand that the gel base has no active ingredient and so its concentration is zero. Um, there are two ways you can solve this problem. You can use the algebraic approach or you could do this by allegation. And for this type of problems, allegation actually works best. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is we want to set up the allegation grid. So you have your um, grid set up and the higher strength goes to the top left. So if you need a more extensive review, you want to check my allegation video. Um, and then what goes to the bottom left is zero. And in the middle, you have the desired concentration. And in this case, it's 2%. And so the way it works is we want to find out what the number of parts of the gel base is going to be. So we will subtract the 2, which is the desired, from the 5. And that gives us 3. So this 3 actually is representing the number of parts of the gel base. So 3 parts gel base. And we do a similar thing for the parts of the higher strength, which will be the 5%. And so we subtract the 0 from 2, and that gives us 2, and that goes to the top right. So you have two parts of the 5%, and you have three parts of the gel base. Which gives us a total of five parts. Okay, now the total quantity is 60 grams. So the way we will do this is for the 5% to figure out how much we will need, we will take the parts of the 5%, which is 2, divide that by the total parts, which is 5, and then we'll multiply that by the total quantity. We are making 60 grams. So if we do the math on this, it will actually end up being about yeah, 24 grams. So that gives us 24 grams of the 5%. Now to figure out how much of the gel base We could do that in two ways. The, we could repeat the process. So we'll take the parts of the gel base, which is three. So three parts divide that by the total parts, which is five and then multiply by the total quantity, which is 60. And that should give us 36 grams. However, there's a much quicker way. What you would do is you could take the total quantity that you are preparing, which is 60 grams. And because there are only two components, we will subtract the quantity of the 5%, which is 24. And that should still give us 36 grams. All right. So that's how you do the problem. But right? let's just go through the high points. So whenever you have a situation where you have two concentrations and your desired is in the middle. Um, the allegation tends to be a faster way to do this kind of problems. So you want to review how you set up the grid. The higher strength goes to the top left and then the lower strength goes to the bottom left. Your desired is in the middle. And then to get the parts of your gel base, you want to subtract the two from the five and that gives us three. And then you do the similar thing to find out the parts of the 5%. And so we subtract the 0 from 2 and that gives us 2. You want to notice that there are no negatives on this allegation grid. It's all the absolute value.
And so the way you find the quantity of the 5% is basically to take the parts of the 5%, which was 2, divide that by the total parts, which is 5, and multiply by the total quantity, and that gives us the 24 grams. The question requires us to find the quantity for the gel base as well, so we could basically repeat the process, take the parts of the gel base, which was 3, divide that by the total parts, and multiply by the total quantity, and that gives us 36 grams. But like I said, the easiest or fastest approach is to subtract the amount of the 5% from the total quantity you are compounding, and that gives you 36 grams. Now, this is important when you are taking an exam. All right, so that's how you solve this problem. I hope you found it beneficial. If you have any more questions, just send me an email.